Today we're going to show you how to install one of our TSC-13 kits on an L5P Duramax. Now always before you begin your installation, log on to our website at fastride.com. Make sure you register your warranty before you download your installation instructions. Now let's go ahead and get this installation started. Apply this applied dielectric grease to the relay pigtail. Install the electrical relay into the fast harness. Install the relay cover over the relay and be sure the plastic bracket on the relay is sticking through the cover. Install the supplied fuse into the fuse holder on the fast harness. Using the supplied ring terminals, connect the red wire of the fast harness to the positive battery terminal and the green wire to the negative battery terminal. Using a test light or voltmeter, locate a key-on positive fuse in the underhood fuse panel. Remove the selected fuse from the fuse panel and install it in the bottom slot of the ATA circuit and install the supplied 5 amp fuse in the top slot of the ATA circuit. Place the ATA circuit into the fuse panel and connect the red wire from the fast harness to the butt connector of the ATA circuit with a pair of wire crampers. Neatly secure the relay in an upright position and neatly secure all the wires from the fast harness under the hood away from any hot or moving objects. The fuel vent tube and fuel vent tube from the top of the fuel tank. Disconnect the fuel feed line and fuel return line near the front of the fuel tank. Remove the fuel tank skid plate. Support the fuel tank and remove the front and rear fuel tank support straps. Slightly lower the fuel tank, then disconnect the electrical connector at the fuel tank module, then lower the fuel tank out from underneath the truck. Disconnect all the fuel lines and vent tubes from the fuel tank module. Remove the locking ring from the fuel tank. Remove the fuel tank module from the fuel tank and place it on a clean, suitable work area. Disconnect both electrical connectors and remove the fuel level sending unit from the fuel tank module to prevent damage. Remove and discard the factory fuel pump harness. Carefully slice the two sections of convoluted tubing and remove them from the fuel tank module. Release the locking tabs, then separate the upper and lower sections of the fuel tank module. Remove the fuel pump suction screen. Release the locking tabs and remove the fuel pump.
Remove the remaining plastic section that is attached to the convoluted tubing. Reassemble the upper and lower sections of the fuel tank module. Using an air saw or equivalent, cut the two sections of the fuel tank module off as shown. Using a 7 8 inch hole saw or step drill bit, drill the center holes of the two fittings that were just cut off. Using a pencil grinder, carefully clearance the top side and the bottom side of the fuel tank module as necessary to create enough clearance for BHF 1005. Install a 10-306 and a 10-307 into each BHF 1005 and tighten accordingly. Note the location of 10-307 for the following steps. Install OR-212 onto each BHF 1005. Install the bulkhead fitting with the 10-306 fitting in the shown location and place red Loctite on the threads, then install BHN-1002. Tighten with a pair of pliers and be sure to create enough compression for OR-212, but do not over tighten. Using the same steps as the previous bulkhead, Install the bulkhead with fitting 10-307. Measure the fuel tank from the bottom of the fuel tank to the top of the O-ring sealing surface and record your measurement. Compress the fuel tank module to the recorded measurement. You will want to use this measurement to cut ST1005P to the correct length. Please note you will want both ST1005Ps about one half of an inch off the bottom of the fuel tank module when compressed to the recorded measurement. Install each ST1005P onto each bulkhead fitting with the hose clamp HC1001. Tighten the hose clamp accordingly. Always be sure to double check your measurement and again, Verify that the ST1005P has a half inch of clearance from the bottom of the tank module when compressed to the recorded height. Reinstall the fuel level sending unit and reconnect the sending unit electrical connector. Install FL1006 onto the engine return barb with hose clamp HC4001. Trim FL1006 to the same length as each ST1005P. Gently secure all the wires and fuel lines together with a supplied cable tie.
carefully reinstall the fuel tank module into the fuel tank while carefully guiding the fuel level float. Reinstall the fuel tank module locking ring. Reconnect the factory fuel return line. Using grease, install a PL1058 into FL1058. Using grease, install a PL1005 into FL1002. Install PL1058 onto 10-307. Tighten the fitting, but be sure to support both fittings to prevent damage to the fuel tank module. Install PL1005 onto 10-306. Loop PL1058 as seen here and secure with the cable tie. If you would like to remove the factory fuel filter module, now is a good time to do so. Disconnect the electrical connector, loosen the three bolts, and disconnect the fuel feed line. Be sure to tape up the factory electrical connector to prevent dirt and moisture from entering. Lift the fuel tank back up into the truck while carefully guiding the fuel lines over to the fast mounting location. Reconnect the electrical connector on top of the fuel tank, reinstall the fuel tank support straps, and reconnect the fuel fill tube and fuel vent tube. Install 10-300 into the E port of the FAST and tighten accordingly. Install 10-302 into the T port of the FAST and tighten accordingly. Install PBR 2001 onto the FAST with the three supplied WA-1001D spacers and three quarter inch bolts. Tighten the quarter inch bolts accordingly. Remove the bed bolt in the shown location. Install PFB 2002 with RS 2001, the supplied 12mm bolt, and the supplied flat washer. Tighten the bolt accordingly. Secure PBR 2001 to PFB 2002 with RS 2002, the four 3 8 bolts, flat washers, and nuts. Tighten the four bolts accordingly. Using a PL1058, measure and cut FL1058 to the proper length. Apply grease to PL1058 and FL1058. Install PL1058 onto 10-302 and tighten accordingly. Install FL1058 onto PL1058. Lightly install a PL1005 onto the R port of the FAS and measure and cut FL1002 to length. 
Using grease, install PL1005 into FL1002. Install the remaining PL1005 into the remaining section of FL1002 using grease. Route FL1002 to near the front of the fuel tank where it will connect to the engine feed. Install PL1005 onto the E port of the FAS. Tighten PL1005 accordingly. Install QD1002 onto the factory engine feed connection, then trim FL1002 to length. Install FL1002 onto QD1002 with hose clamp HC1001. Install the FAST return line onto the R port of the FAST and tighten the PL1005 accordingly. Route the FAST harness to the FAST system, connect the electrical connector to the FAST motor and secure all wiring and fuel lines nice and neatly along the factory wire harness and away from any moving objects. Install the filter nipple o-ring onto the suction side of the FAST. Apply grease to both fuel filter O-rings. Install PF3001 onto the suction side of the FAS and XWS3002 onto the pressure side of the FAS. When the installation is complete, be sure to fill the fuel tank to full. Failure to do so can result in excessive sound output or priming issues. If you guys have any questions on your fast installation or pump selection, please don't hesitate to give our technical service department a call. They'll be happy to help.